All right. Well, on that note, let's get back to um, let's get back to this. Let's get back to hell. Let's get back to hell where we left it off on Thursday. Sorry for calling it hell, our codes. Um, so yeah, we kind of to recap where we got to on Thursday. We um, we didn't quite go absolutely mental from the sound of that repetitive lift, but we did manage to get the third cube. And I believe the next um, thing we need to do is to laser this turret and get rid of this turret now that we've got all three cubes. And we were looking on Thursday for a potential angle where we can angle this laser through a portal and then use the other laser cube to... Um, attack the turret um, but we wasn't really we wasn't really getting much um, much luck out of it if I'm completely honest but um, yeah um, back to the grind we go I suppose and see if we can work anything out at all I'm just wondering um, I'm thinking maybe you know both laser cubes up in this area might help us to some extent so um yeah i think i'm going to start there tonight let's see if we can get like both the laser cubes up here and um we'll see if we can make some progress from there at least so um who else uh, dido's showed up what's going on dido how you doing welcome welcome and nerdlin's here as well what's going on nerdlin Good to see you all. Okay, so. See a uh, problem already with doing this is. We've got to use the absolute fizzler. So we're gonna need to. Do what? We're gonna need to shoot portals. Do that to there, maybe come back up. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to work. So we have the cube here. Wait for the elevator to come back up again. gonna have to go around here again, aren't we? But our big issue now is... Yeah, I think that's right, because we're gonna... The only way to do anything is to respawn that cube. So I don't think that's um, a good place to start. Recent games so the game console doesn't come up. You still having issues, Paul? Uh, Atom, sorry. Alright, so how could we get both of these cubes up to here? $64 million pound question. Let's go and grab the cube over here. And we can dump it over the edge. Reset portals. There and there. Totally missed that ledge.
So, uh, Deathwish, have you got through that bottle yet? Also, I don't think my, my chatbot stopped working. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I said, have you got through that bottle yet? Your uh, bottle of shots that you was doing earlier on, you started at, like, lunchtime. Uh, do you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, uh... Oh! Yeah, uh, I mean... Uh, half of it's gone. Only half uh, of it? Well, that's... that. that <laughs> my latest count, that's about 18 shots. And I'm on my uh four five uh uh fifth beer. <laughs> Dude <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 just doing uh two out shots then. No, I'm sorry. I'm one out shot. One out shot. One out. All right, I'm gonna move this one over to here. So I've had 18 ounces of uh, uh, 66 birds. I don't work in yeah. ounces, so I don't know what that is in like. Uh, per, per in, in, pro, in, proper, the, in, in proper stuff, in, in, you know, in proper measurements and proper units, I don't know what that is, so, you know. Well, per, perf is perf around the world. Uh, 200, 200 perf is 100% alcohol. So 66 perf is 33% alcohol. No, I'm talking about the ounces. I'm talking about the ounces, you know. Oh, you, ounces. You, you, my bad. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I'll, I'll, uh... Oh, sorry, do you, do you need your abacus out for that one? Uh, uh, hold on. Yep. Uh, my abacus does Imperial and Metro. <laughs> uh, man, if, if, if I was Mika, I could, I would be playing World of War right now. Mika... Uh, Mika's time is 12, almost 12, quarter after 12 midnight, so Mika should have put it away. Okay, so one ounce, one OZ equals I mean, uh, I assume you would want you want grams or milliliters? Grams? Why, why would I... Whoever... Who would ever deal with grams when talking about, like, a fluid? Liquids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how weird you metric guys are. <laughs> you know, we, we, we work in milliliters. Yeah, I mean, that's what I went with. Uh, one ounce is 20, 28.5. Four one three zero six milliliters. So just under 20... twenty eight and a half milliliters. All right. So that means um, one eight, ounce. Eight, eighteen. One eighteen ounce. of the, eighteen of those. So one ounce is if that's one ounce. Was that one ounce or two ounce? Sorry, I was like half. Yeah. One attention. one ounce. So so far I've had five hundred and eleven and a half milliliters. Okay. So a normal a normal measure over here is like twenty five milliliters, so you've had like knocking on twenty one shots. Twenty one milliliters, you say? Yeah, so uh for us um a normal like measure 
of alcohol over here is um, 25 milliliters. 25, okay. 25 is 0.88 ounces. And my shots are one ounce. If that helps at all. Okay. Yeah, see, where, where, where it gets real fun and imperial is uh, 16 ounces is a pound. But except we're when it's 16 fluid ounces. Now, I was going to say, are you talking about ounces or fluid ounces? Yep. Uh, being that I'm drinking a liquid, I'm speaking of fluid ounces as opposed to uh, like steel or dirt or whatever, which is different. It's, yeah. Uh, Imperial is so much fun. Uh, yeah, I can see why everybody in the world hates it. Uh, we're just accustomed to it and I can kind of go from the war, like Celsius to Fahrenheit. I mean, you know, it all makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, either way, because I mean, and I, and I prefer, honest, honestly, I prefer metric uh, because it's, you know, zero to a hundred. But then you have, uh, okay, let me ask you this, since you're, you know, you're a computer person programmer and uh, you know about uh, uh, megabytes, kilobytes, gigabytes, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. that has that has nothing to do with metric or imperial because it's a thousand and twenty four yeah. kilobytes is, is a megabyte a thousand and twenty four megabytes is a gigabyte it's not it's not an even thousand why a thousand and twenty four you know yeah <laughs> because the world isn't complicated enough already yeah but everybody needs to make it more complicated what's going on Mika you doing Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'll mute myself. Hello, anyway, carry on. I just want to say hi to Mika. Yeah. I thought Mika's already been in. Hey, Mika. Yeah. It's a WMP. Uh, WBM. Part time words per minute. Spare a Pepsi Max for Atom. Hell no. <laughs> we don't share our Pepsi Max Atom. Not for non believers, especially. Alright, so how would I. Okay, so <clears throat> back to the soul thing. I've just been kind of like randomly messing about with stuff here. I'm just trying to think of a way that I could get that. not rely on that cube up there to power off this yellow fizzler. And I think, like, using... Using this cube and that portal might be the answer. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've released this cube from here, but how would we now get this cube up to the top? Because the yellow fizzler is... disabled. Uh, sorry, it's not terrible, it's enabled. So we can't shoot a portal through here anymore, can we? Um. I 
when he death wish does that, I don't think he's talking about the black stuff, he's talking about the white stuff. <laughs> no, no. I joke, I joke. Drugs yeah. are bad kids. Uh, um, I, I, I do no drugs. Not, not that kind of stuff. God, I don't want to... I'd be dead by now if I did that. <laughs> um... My strategy is, or my target at the minute, I think I'm trying to get, I'm trying to see if I can get all the cubes up to the top, because when we was playing around on Thursday, I don't believe we've got an angle. So I just wanted to see if I get both the laser, well, both the laser cubes at least up here, just so I could maybe then use the laser from there, or in some way, differently to how I was doing it through portals to try and take out that turret. So, what I'm trying to do at the minute is get all three cubes up to this top position here. That's that's what we're going for at the moment. Just to see if it will help us um, at all. So I could take that down and respawn this cube. That would end up there. Okay, let's... So we draw that through there. That cube respawns. Does that help me at all? The only thing I can do with that now is drop it down there. And then we have to go back down here. So there's nowhere else to go. Maybe I'm not done with this laser cube behind this area just yet because I need a way to open this yellow up at least before I can even use that. And I've got to do that from the top. So this is going to have to go back up to the top. I think that much is true. Then to open that up, we've then got to move this cube out the way temporarily. Or else we're not going to be able to use the laser there. It's Miller time. <laughs> yep. It's been a while. 20 minutes. <laughs> Mika, Mika knows his place, look. He knows. He knows. Once I worked portal time with Pepsi Max, after which Doc wanted me to start like that every portal stream. Then there was one stream in which I forgot to write it after, which Doc showed the door. Then I started to use it every stream. I am also Pepsi Max's side. What does that mean, Mika? Should should I give you a word tomorrow to start with? <laughs> on Wordle? <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> There's one for you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it probably wouldn't work on Wordle, though. I have a hunch. Yeah, good luck with that. E, e and S and I would be okay, P. Not so common. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure names wouldn't be. I don't think names are part of the game, though, are they? So, nah, no, nah, no nah proper words. 
and proper nouns, rather. So no, no places or names or any of that. Bailey, all right there? She, uh, she excited about something? I assume that's Bailey, anyway. Either that or Death Wish is giving me the slow golf clap already. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, sorry. Uh, my bad, I forgot to mute my mic while I unzip my pants for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm done. Thank God for that. Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> this fizzler is a problem. Yep, it's, the fizzler is a problem. So, is there a way that we can bypass uh, this field? Not, not too far apart there, Mika. Somehow you're chitting there and you got like way more air brakes than I do. So, that's an instant cheat, is it? Yep, cheater, cheater. Pumpkin eater. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, it, sounds okay. like game, it sounds like game night with my kids right now. <laughs> You're a cheater. Yep. Uh, if you beat me, you're a cheater. <laughs> well, my daughter, who's seven, wanted to play like full-blown Monopoly yesterday, and I was like, okay. I got. I, I got a. I got a letter win. I, I couldn't do it. Too. Oh god. So we, we, we played like, like we played like um, no mortgages, no houses, no hotels or anything like that, and I literally just bought everything and then ended up owing her loads of money and just kept throwing my properties at her just so she won. <laughs> Uh, uh, I never let my kids win. I don't care what age they were. I absolutely was in, in destroy mode, no matter what it was. I'm like, yeah, you lost again, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot, you're, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to beat me. I'm not letting you win like these other stupid parents. We do this, and and they uh, honestly they got better. <laughs> they got better. They got better faster, and they got better. Like when my oldest daughter got into career, which is like the uh, if you if anybody's not familiar with career, uh, it's when you're on one of those streamlined boots and everybody's uh, pulling the, with the paddles and we had a, a erg which is a machine that you practice on and I put up tables of distances on on paper on the wall in front of it, across the wall, and had our times for each distance, and I was kicking her ass as an old man. Uh, but it lit a fire under her ass too, because she she caught she started beating me in some of them, and I would beat her. Back, he lit a fire under my ass too, and then, uh, and then she she beat me. I beat her. She beat me. I beat her. 
yeah, you know, went back and forth. It was it was fun, and it was good, you know, good healthy competition. But the one thing I will say to any parent, if or if you're not a parent and you become a parent, do not let your kids win. <laughs> no, that doesn't teach them anything. I'm telling you, it doesn't teach them anything. You do not let your kids win. I don't care if they're a year old. You, you, <laughs> you fucking go hardcore. Uh, you go as hard against them as you would against anybody else. And they will appreciate it in the future. They'll learn how to uh, do things. So uh, basically, what basically what we're learning here, everybody, is um, there was lots of tears shed in the Deathwish 808 household <laughs> when his kids were growing up because mean old dad was like, "No, you ain't winning this. <laughs> this is my game." Every game was my game unless they beat me. All right. There was horse. There was horse out on the basketball hoops. Where there was throwing the football, catching it. I mean, I made everything a game, and they got good. That's all I can say. They got good, and it did not hurt them one percent. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a dickhead about it. I was just like, I'm not, you know, I was straight up with them. I'm not going to let you win. You're going to have to win. And if you lose, you got to figure out how to get better. And they did. They got better. They got better quicker than if you let them win. Because if you let them win, then... Just like everything I've seen, uh, other parents, if you let them win, they they still suck. And they don't really get better. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right. So, while uh, while our good friend Rambling Man was uh, doing his thing. Yeah, you got all four cubes. Right there. We've got all three cubes up the top somehow. Ah, uh, we, hey, we've all been watching. Uh, I, uh, the reason why I was doing that was to give you some free time to do that. So that okay. you can win. So you need to win. Wow. Well. <laughs> this is... Um... Ah, oh, come on, Fumbers. Fumbly, Bumbly, come on. You're not losing, dude. No, uh, my kids are doing quite well, uh, actually. Uh, my oldest disappointed me, though. She was straight A's throughout school and went to college and then dropped out of college in the first couple weeks. And decided to go a different route. My youngest uh, surprised me. And she, Morgan, she really has. She is the the artist, which my oldest was artist. She 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 was more into singing than art, but she was pretty good at art too. But my youngest is good at art, but she can sing as well. Uh, I'm not a singer, but yeah, she. she sure, you're she a singer. You're a singer. You, you, we, 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 I was talking about this. I was talking about this the other night with you, man. About how we used to have the the good old Deathwish family singing streams, man. While you were solving portal puzzles, man. You you got a voice. You got a voice like an angel. I tell you. Uh, luckily, I never did sing during that. It was just my daughters, but I, I do miss those days. Uh, where they sang, and that was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I, I, I miss singing days 
uh, I miss having them here and family and there. Yeah. But it is what it is. And, uh, man, my youngest is absolutely killing it. She's she's doing far better uh, than my oldest did in school, which is actually kind of unexpected. Uh, I thought my oldest my oldest daughter was smarter than her, but. Uh, uh, or, or at least I, I thought she was better at uh, uh, her, her classes, texts, and you know, book, book smarts, and that sort of thing. And I have to say, uh, my youngest has absolutely destroyed her, her motivation. And what she has inside of her, and it, she listens more to what I say than what my older daughter did, and she absolutely kills it. I mean, she did, she's doing way better than I ever did. So yeah, I mean, super proud of her. I'm proud of both of them, but uh, I'm definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody say they don't have a favorite when it comes to the children. They love them all equally. Yeah, I love them both, but, uh, my, I did, I did have a favorite. Uh, my oldest was my favorite. Not my youngest is my favorite. So, <laughs> uh, it's not really a dickhead thing. It's just, uh, it is what it is thing. Uh, and that can change. So I don't. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Mac? Uh, between your two kids, have you had a favorite, and have have your favorite switched? Um, I don't know. It's it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a. It's I don't know. I, I find it an awkward question because um, you should never have favorite kids, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> having said that, <laughs> um, no, I I think I wouldn't say I have a favourite, but I definitely have a better relationship with my daughter than my son. I would say. Um, no, but well, I, well, that's what I mean. I mean, I'm not saying you love one less than the other. Uh, what I mean by favourite is is. Like you, you tend to connect more with one more than the other. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely have a better connection with my daughter than my son. Um, but that's mainly because my son, I don't know if it's like he's getting to that age where he just like shuts himself away and you don't really see a lot of him during the day. Yeah, um, yeah. Whereas my daughter's very much like she needs to know where you are and she wants to be with you all the time and she you know she wants to do stuff with you all the time so um, yeah. yeah I mean again I, I that's probably like the difference between that's probably like a, a girl boy thing though to be fair as well it's probably like the main difference between girls and boys girls are a lot more affectionate and. Um, like loving and, and want to sort of be with you kind of thing and, and do stuff whereas boys are just kind of like oh dad I want to play my computer games <laughs> you, know, you know it's like dinner time yeah. oh baby in the middle of the nope, uh, and I can say I don't have a boy I have two girls and what you said a hundred percent applies to both my girls is it you know they're seven years apart and they you know it changes based on age you know my oldest is uh 21 and my youngest is 14 and 
And when my oldest was 14, completely different. Uh, Sorry, I've had a crazy idea. Uh-oh. Let's do it. Crazy, I love crazy ideas. Because... I'm Let's do kind it. of... What? I'm kind of Let's thinking... Let's do the crazy idea! Right, Let's so I'm it. thinking that all of my approaches seem to rely on needing to use the laser with a portal. What if there's a way, or well, there is a way, of using the laser without needing a portal? And I don't know about this, because this is a little bit... I don't know. But technically, when I stand on that button, that laser is going to travel to the other cube and hit the turret briefly before the cubes drop down. Well, the turret... Well, if it does hit a turret, the turret, it only takes a um, microsecond or I don't know what you want, Imperial or... <laughs> a second's it, a second, dude. A second is a second. <laughs> I don't think there's any Imperial and metrics when it comes to uh, <laughs> seconds. If it, if it touches, the, if the laser touches the turret, it's destroyed. Which I know, I, the, my, I'm just trying to think though, like, well, it's, well, uh, F6 and then do it. Well, boom, there you go. As long as the laser touches it, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's whether or not I, I know. I know. Obviously, this isn't the Death Wish thinking a lot of the time, but I'm trying to think: is that a legitimate move? Oh, that. Um, I mean, in my book, a hundred percent. Because I mean, that's just the way it works. Like if you if you have a turret map and you get a laser and a cube you're holding in your hand. You don't have to aim at it and hold it for a certain amount of time. You can just swipe across, and it, as long as the laser hits hits the turret, it obliterates it. It destroys it. Period. Done. Okay. Um, Fumbly's uh, on I, team. I, Fumbly's on team knock and team deathwish for that one. So. Um, all right. Well, I've got a, I've got a manual save before that. Just in case. Yeah, no, um, I, don't, I don't think that's unintended at all. I don't, I don't, I don't see how that would be considered unintended, okay. unless you spe unless you specified, and you, yeah, you have to have the laser on the turret for at least two metric fuck tons of time. I just don't. I'm, I'm just trying to think like. I don't think with the portal surfaces that I've got, I would be able to get another angle. No, I mean, straight up. I'm... The only the only angle I can get is that one out of this, this, this surface here, because when we use the laser normally, it comes out the top of the portal. We can't change that because the only way to change it was with the portal gun, and we have to put a cube on that button so it turns this field off so we can't walk across here to actually do that. Um, yeah, I, I would never think it. Uh, in my book, that's 100% legit. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Okay. So, we're assuming that is right then. What's our next maneuver? Like, like in my book, if you're going for killing turrets, if you can touch a turret with a laser, you're good. Period. I've never played a map where it was required 
to uh, hold a laser on a turret for a certain amount of time. I mean, that just you just sweep it across and, and that's all it takes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's just no. Uh, I mean, even in even in the vanilla game, that's all you have to do. You don't you don't have to. As long as it touches it, done. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think that's an attendant whatsoever. Okay. And, it, and and if it, if it is for them, then yeah, I call BS. Especially with all the uh, the different the different fields, which is annoying to me. I, I wouldn't. Honestly, I wouldn't play this because of the using every field there is in D-Mod. Okay, so here's, here's the next thing, issue. Um, lifeform sensor. Okay, so before I do that maneuver, then this lifeform sensor needs to be swapped. Because when it's blue, when we change it to orange, that's what causes the turret to respawn. Okay. So. So you need to go around. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I. I made another save. Let's see. All right. So, I don't know now if I can actually do this without having to, like, do a lot of that again. Which is... Shame. I'm gonna have to go back the same way here. Is it airbo time? It's airbo time. So I gotta do that to get rid of that. Then I can walk through here. My question now is gonna be. Can I get back to the top relatively easily? And I don't think I can. Oh, so I'm going to nope. have to go through that absolute fizzler. Yeah, I was going to say that doesn't seem right. We got one guess on the table, Mika. Sorry, but you're not even. All right. close. And Adam, you're not even remotely close. What? What am I getting stuck on? Are you ready for oh it's that field here, isn't it? Of course that field there's stopping me. Idiot. So uh do you want my guess, Deathwish? Yeah, sure. Are you ready for my guess? Yeah, I'm going for. Alright, can you do it? 69,000. Ooh. Somebody's been keeping track. 492. Okay. 
if you're within uh, if you're within 250 I'll give it to you okay, within 250 Okay, uh, anybody else throwing a guess in? Knock is the closest by far. Despite what it says, guess within 10, no, guess within 250. Knock is the closest, nobody has won it. Okay, here's the answer. Three, two, one. Ooh! <laughs> you were a darn close, dude. I, I feel like I should give you a prize for that. It has a prize. <laughs> Golf clap. <sighs> Nicely done. Okay, I think I might not do this. Uh, you guys are getting way, way close. Uh, I'm hoping somebody wins. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Atom, Atom knew it was 69,000 something, although they chose not to uh, guess 69,000 something. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, they, they got 63 and 75. Yep, yep, I thought it was 69,000 something, but let me guess 90, more, 90 million. <laughs> My angle is way off. Um, I'm really tired of watching this map, to be honest. No offense, Marco, but uh, I, I really hate these kind of maps. Chapman. What's going on? Yeah, I like a I like a lot of Narcade maps. Really good maps, but I, I don't care who makes maps with the the fields. Of, I just don't like them. All right, so this should. Say it should. 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 Here. Oh, I still have a uh, light outside. What time is it? You know, nearly six o'clock. Yeah, Jeez. six o'clock. And man, it's getting more towards spring. So, yeah, I, I, unless it's cloudy, I, I have light until. Pretty much almost till seven now. And it's not long before uh, ESD comes back. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, as opposed, as opposed to Daylight Savings Time. Yeah, we've got about another month, I think, of um, GMT before we go on to British Summertime. Yeah, I wish I would just get rid of that dumb shit, but... 
that. It is what it is. Alright. Uh oh, uh oh. I need to get rid of that. So, okay, I need to go round again. Um, yep. Let's go round again. Round and round. Oh, crap. Okay, I'll play that on Discord. Uh. Yeah, uh, speaking of Wordle, uh, I did add it to mine, but that was not to try to take over yours. Because uh, your, yours is the place to go. You go be designer, uh, the whole guy who's killing it with the. Uh, yeah, he's done a real good job with the spreadsheet, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. Hey, prototype. Wow, prototype joining. Prototype showed up in my server. Wow. Oh. Yeah, he's been absent. He finally, uh, uh, you know, we were talking yesterday, I think. So yeah. I was, uh, I was missing prototype and uh, him doing his thing. And, uh, and then he, uh, 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 caught up. Caught up with me today. And... Uh, uh, Burke's map, which was the DW4 map. Uh, wait, wait, you, the... you, you, you broke a map? So out uh, of character, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, every now and then I accidentally do something, but, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a big deal. Easy fix, and, uh, but he, but he did, uh, the easy fix, which he did, and then he also uh, pushed. Uh, he he fixed another part. I think it's solid, and I sent it. And that's what I sent to you. Uh, yeah. Because I don't. I, there's uh, the original map was actually kind of clunky. It, it didn't look all that great. It was not the yeah, and he, he redid it. And yeah, it looks really good now. And, uh, and, and it's much more functional. And I, I, don't, I don't know how else to say it, but yeah, he, he, it's a, it's a good map. Uh, uh, you, you, you'll either get it uh, pretty quickly. Uh, when he put his description, uh, medium difficulty, maybe 15 minutes to solve, kind of thing. But it's either going to be like, I think, either like five to 10 minutes to an hour or two hours to solve. Okay. Uh, for you, I think you'll get it within. Oh, don't, I don't, don't, it. don't I... start putting me under pressure, man. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think for you, uh, you know, you're, you're, you've got the skills, the brains. Uh, I think you'll get it within 15 to 20 minutes, easily. So. <laughs> In mere hours. <laughs> Da, da, da. Absolutely not. Uh, 
You're one of the smartest people I know, dude. I really don't feel smart sometimes, I tell you. Ah, uh, well, that's that's when you know you're smart. If you don't feel smart, uh, you know you go through periods of this or that, and you're like, uh. Oh, thanks for the host, yeah. T. Chapman. I've, I've just, you know, it's like I've just, uh, yeah, I'm just getting by. Um, but nah, uh, smart people know when they don't know. If you know what I mean. Like, if, if, if you understand that you don't know, then you're on the smarter side. Because if you think you know stuff, and you think you're smart, then you're, you're probably on the not-so-smart side. How did I? How did I do this before? Hmm, okay, maybe. I'm so frustrated with myself. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying it's like massively my pro my fault, but I'm so frustrated with myself that I didn't see that I didn't think about the turret thing. Because we gotta re well I suppose to be fair I didn't know that I would have to respawn the I didn't know I have to respawn the laser cubes, so Alright, let's do that. That uh, to be honest that, uh, that. I would I would have quit a long time ago. I just don't have the patience you have. Oh, that works, but then, oh, then the field isn't open. Hold on, let's 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 go back a step. Uh, Mike, so we managed to work out how to get rid of the turret. But what I quickly realized afterwards is I haven't got the right setup on the laser field. Uh, sorry, not the life, so the life form field. So when I pass through, uh, the turret respawns. So I'm just trying to I've been reset the life form sensor so I can pass through it one more time without respawning the turret. But I can't now remember how I got the setup. Um, which effectively was all three cubes up here. I'm trying to remember how I disabled this yellow field. I mean, I'm starting to think I've missed I've missed a step somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where that is. Gotta Why get not? the cube. That's not gonna be right. What? What? Sorry. 
Uh, under moderation, bot logging. Uh, I keep getting notified of being removed from roles, even though I don't need to be enrolled. And I haven't. Like, I, as the owner of a channel, you're automatically enrolled in everything. Correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm getting, like, uh, I just got a notification that... Yeah, it's happened quite a few times. I don't understand why I'm getting, like, oh. You know, you get the little notification, click on it, and it scrolls down to where... Uh, yeah, uh, and, and it goes down every time to the bot moderation area zero, uh, zero zero moderator, but bot logging and zero. I'm like, what? I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. Okay. Let's see. Oh, well, we went to a little smoky bed. Okay, put on there. So now I would need to get that cube out from there. And that What's doesn't up, Mike? really help. Yeah, I remember back in the day, Bumbly Bumbly. That's not his maps. Breaking them. That, that so I still, on. I still, I still remember to this day, the day that Fumbly just randomly appeared on the test chamber scene. And I remember playing like the very first one or two of Fumbly's maps. And we was convinced that it was a an alt account for someone for someone. And I even I, I can't remember the name of it, but I even remember the the map of the first map that it was that I played from Tumbly as well. And it was a light bridge and fizzler map. Uh that I don't remember. Uh Bumbly I kinda remember right before and during uh the P2 L C put up to level creation uh, group uh, and it was a, a, a contest map making thing at Nintendo Earth uh, Bumbly uh, you know a lot of people that I mean even Mevius came into it about Two thirds of the way through before it ended. Uh, Mevius made some maps. Uh, guess what? I broke his maps. Uh, that, that, that's, that's my joy, is to break maps. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tell me about it. We had like... One map that I had that had like 20 odd revisions or whatever it was because you just wouldn't give up. Uh, the, that was. I have to say, out of all the maps, I mean, uh, uh, Chad, uh, he, he had a map that I broke so many different ways, and he changed so many different times. Uh, it was so satisfying. <laughs> Uh, but the most fun I had when it was with Prototype, because Prototype 
fantastic map maker. I mean, he, he, he's a perfectionist. Uh, great, uh, incredible, uh, just, just an incredible, uh, uh Hammer. Oh, you idiot. You idiot. Sorry, Deathwish. Yeah, calm. Uh, no worry. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he was an incredible, he's an incredible map maker. Uh, and, and the, yeah, uh, but he, he was also, he's one of the few that's also a fantastic player. Yeah. Um, you know, typically it's one or the other. I'm, I consider myself a, a, a decent player. And every now and then I, I've come up with some okay maps, but yeah, I'm not a good map maker. I don't consider myself to be a good map maker at all. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's bait. He's, he's one of the few that is both a great player and a great map maker. And, but, uh, and it, he challenged me more, like that one map you had uh, where he broke it, uh, you changed shit, I played it, I broke it. Yeah, I think, I think at the end of it, it just turned into like a, you and him. <laughs> We're just sort of playing <laughs> ping pong between yourselves. Like, right, you've had your turn at it. Now it's my turn to break it. Oh, you. Yeah, it, it was. It, it was. It was definitely. Uh, uh, like, who could outdo who? And it went. We were even. He would break it, I would break it. He would break it, I would break it. He would break it up. And it was about who would be able to stop the breakage. Uh, it was it was about you trying to stop us breaking your map. And you changed that shit so much. And, and I remember the map was so... Originally, like if you did the original... Uh, the original solution, it was nice and clean and everything looked good. But by the time we were finished with you, the map was horrible looking. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you had to put so many fizzlers and so many things in and so, oh my God, it was, a, it was fucking hilarious. And uh, yeah. Uh, I mean that 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 was fun. That was just fun, man. Uh, I think to be fair, by the end of the, by the end of that, I wasn't even bothered how the map looked. It was just a principle that <laughs> you guys yeah. need to be stopped breaking this map. I don't care what I do to it; you will stop breaking this map. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Uh, that was yeah that was so much fun <laughs> oh my god yeah that was so much fun oh god but uh and, and we did that me and prototype did quite a few maps uh where that was a thing where he would play test i would play test and and he would find something I'm like okay and then they would uh, whoever the map maker was would fix his and I'm like fuck that I'm gonna find another way around it <laughs> and yeah that was, that was the fun about it it was so much fun to do that uh, uh, yeah, I had to concede Sometimes, so, uh, like, yep, uh, I can't see another way to do it other than the legit way. Like, you, like you break it so many times that you, 
you actually you know the intended solution but you keep breaking it so many times yeah it, it, it just was what it was and yeah anyway yeah, yeah that, that was just it's a lot of fun to me personally now, I, and, and I think it was the uh, prototype to you because uh, yeah, the prototype is the perfectionist. He's he's a great player, great map maker. And, yeah, mad props to him. So that Mika, a good one, buddy. Yeah, uh, I Mika, yeah. Dude, so yeah, seven hours ahead of me. So. What, what, one, one, seventeen, twenty, whatever it is. Yeah, uh, you, you stay up too late. Mika, get the bed earlier. <laughs> He's doing his bit between Pepsi Max. Uh. Uh, just, just saying Pepsi makes me want to hurl. I don't know why I hate Pepsi. It's, it's so, so much sugar. So sweet. It's... Yeah, I guess... I guess I'm in the uh, majority when it comes to... Uh, who hates Pepsi. <laughs> Well, yeah, you seriously. say that, you say that, but we did we did a scientific study on the channel, and it was proved proven that um, more people liked uh, Pepsi than they did Coke. So you know, uh, you watch what uh, you say. On your, on your channel, it, it was it was a, a scientific study. Uh, a, a scientific study. <laughs> All right. Well, good news is. Now that I worked out how to do that, that was a lot easier and a lot quicker to get around that and uh, do that. So I'm going to save there now. Hopefully, let's see. We can blow this turret Sci up and forget about it. Scientific study. Pepsi somehow wins that. Even though. Uh, okay. That's not that, that's not possible. You just, but okay. You, 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 just, you just don't want to believe. No. Well. That's, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Shh. Humbling man's gonna shut up. Don't believe it. Shh. I don't believe it. Shh. It's all lies. I tell you. Okay. It's oh so quiet. Shh. Okay, so here's the issue now. Is there an issue? Uh, I'm sure there is an issue. <laughs> it's not even close.
So, um, okay. So, I could call it six billion dollars. Guess what? Pepsi is in the same year, and this is four years ago. I must be at least twelve. <laughs> uh, more like three point eight billion compared to six billion in Coke. Okay. Uh, that's worldwide. Stock market. Uh... All right, so just sort of while Deathwish is uh, counting things on his abacus. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have I have stats ready. Whenever you're, whenever you're just ready, trying you're to think here, yeah, how I could. I gotta respawn both laser cubes, so I need a way to get a port on that surface up there. Which is a bit of a problem. The other problem is... How would I even get back down now? I'm gonna have to use this. Just to let you know, including, including UK, uh, the whole world, uh, Coke, uh, talking about the top, apparently, the, the top beverages. Well, Coke, Red Bull, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, Fanta, and Vitamin Water. Coke, number one, 36% of everything. Well, number two, Red Bull. Wow, Red Bull sucks. But 20%. Pepsi is at 14%, along with Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper 12, and then 7 Up Fanta and Vitamin Water at 2 and 1%. So that's pretty clear that uh, Coca Cola more than dominates PepsiCo. in every way possible. Oh, and if you look at other variables, it's even a bigger spread, but... Uh, Diet Coke. Uh, you, you, Diet? Diet Coke sucks. Diet any drink sucks. But Diet Coke does better than regular Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is the lowest life form on the planet. <laughs> yeah, and Coke is just miles above everything. 
I don't really understand why there are still diet variants around when you have like Pepsi Max and Coke Zero though. Uh, it's called marketing. I have to say. Marketing. You, you know what the difference between, uh, like Diet Coke and or Diet Pepsi and Pepsi Zero or Coke or whatever the hell the sugar's called? No, really. Exactly. Marketing. I don't. Well, to be fair, I, I do know the difference between like a, the diet product and like Pepsi Max, especially because it is like it does. Pepsi Max does taste to me a lot nearer to like a full fat Pepsi. Um. Okay, what's the difference in uh, sugar? Whether it's actual sugar, whether it's glucose, sucrose, any form of sugar. There's tons of versions of sugar. And just like, uh, you know, like Diet Coke is super popular. But it it's it tastes like shit to me. I can't stand it. And you know, you got the what you might call it. Uh, oh god. Everything just went out of my tiny brain, my two brain cells. The, uh, oh God, I, have, I don't even know what to look up. Alright, what do we do here? Uh, play the DW format. It'll make you feel better. And the before around that prototype. I can only assume that like getting both of the cubes is the next goal. Um I'll speak for the rest of the audience and say markets, uh, good map, good, a lot of thought went into this, but in my book, not fun. And everybody can disagree with me. It's just, I, I don't like maps with uh, so many fizzlers. Uh, of different kinds. First, that's just me. And I played plenty of Narcade maps that were really good and I love plenty of them but this is just one of those that's not my style not my vibe and but uh and seeing as how I'm in in the voice uh knock is much more uh, yeah, but, but 
Yeah, I can't. Can't do it. No, because that implies that we're playing co-op, and then we all know what happens when we play co-op. It just ends in a massive rocket fight, and yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, we could play co-op, but I'm not in a frame of mind to even play Portal right now, so. When it comes to co-op, you're never in a frame of mind to play Portal. <laughs> uh, well, that, that, that's kind of true. <laughs> uh, I have to, I have to either be, if I was, if I, if I do it, I have to be quiet, I can't speak, I have to just concentrate. Uh, it's kind of like when I play, like, like when I stream a map, I suck. And, and I know what I need to do, but then I just, I know that um, um, people are watching, people are listening, people are, and I can't, it, it 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 distracts me so much that I can't do it. That's why uh, it's so much easier for me to just go in and play, hit record, and uh, play a map without streaming to anybody, and I'm just playing by myself. And I can screw up all I want to screw up, but I don't. I don't have anything in the back of my mind telling me okay they're thinking this they're thinking that yada 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 but anyway yeah I know. to be honest so many beef is there just kind of bad design disappointed marker shake my head yeah I mean, I, I, I kind of have to agree, make sure uh, it, it's, it's too many fizzlers to keep track of in my brain, myself, uh, the different types and all that, it's, it's a struggle. But I mean, at the same time, it's, even when you know what everyone does, it, it's like you gotta rethink everything you do every time you do something. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I, I definitely get it. I mean, I don't know what it is for you, but... How about portal time with knocking Duffers B T W N A D? Well, I don't think uh, that would be appropriate. I think Knox got it handled. Knock is the champ. You, you weren't being serious? I, well, what I said, I was being serious. But yeah, but I agree with the uh, logic and design. Like, that's kind of what I was saying. Uh, it's extremely well thought out. But I still stand by what I said. It's not my thing. I, I, don't, I don't like it. It's not my thing. But, uh... I wonder if that's just, a move. Is that a move?
I mean, that's a move. <laughs> Is it a reliable move, though? Uh, I mean, see? seems to be. Yeah. Is it intended? I'm trying uh, to think of a way. I'm I'm deviating slightly from what I'm actually meant to be doing, but I'm thinking, trying to think of a way at the moment of how I can get across to here, this side, and have a portal. Because I need to place a portal on there. But I need to also walk across here. And the only way I can see to fizzle a cube while I'm over here do that followed by that yeah I mean if it's consistent then it's legit in my book I mean then I would do that then I would do that I mean, I, I wouldn't consider anything legit if it was iffy, like if you just got lucky. But when it's consistently done, either A, they ever look something, or B, it's intended, uh, and, and my reasoning. And if it wasn't, then I would expect a update to the map to prevent me from doing it, and then I would go, okay, that wasn't intended, but... Then I would need to have... I wouldn't need a cube there. No, I wouldn't need a cube there because if I had a cube on that button, that would disable this orange field here. But just trying to think of possibilities for the exit. So we're going to effectively need to have something like that for the exit. I was just trying to, like, identify... I mean, I think we've picked up some important things for the actual solve there, but more than anything, I was just trying to identify whether or not I needed to pick up both of the cubes, and I think the answer is yes. I need to still get both of the cubes. That's right, Bailey. Yep. No, Bailey. <laughs> So, what I was also thinking there was, do I, have I jumped the gun here? Maybe not. I was wondering if I'd jump the gun of, like, where I'd position these. I wonder if I need to get a, uh, a portal above here on that floor surface underneath that companion cube first before I drop the cubes and kill the turret. 
but I think I can because that would mean I had to have a cube on that button there. And then that would render that whole area out of use. So, okay, I don't think that's right. <clears throat> I don't think that's right. <clears throat> that is the big problem, though. And if you're wondering why it's the big problem, I don't think I have another option though, but to place that on there, go back down here. Problem then being is I can't I can't drop through there. So how would I then get back to the entrance? Second. No, no, okay. I thought for a moment, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought for a second. If I'd had a portal up here. As this cube, I think it would intersect that though, would it? No. I was thinking, like, would there have been a way where, as the cube drops, it would, before it gets fizzled, it would, like, open up the yellow fizzler so that the cubes don't die? That's not going to happen. I don't think there's any way to preserve the cubes. But the, 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 the big problem is... I don't... I don't see a way... To... I don't see a way to get that blue cube out again. And the reason for that is once we've killed this turret, the only way to get back to the cube respawn button is to walk through this field here. So I almost think we've got to do something like this to kill the turret. Then we go back down here, which will drop us down to here. We then have to walk through this life form sensor, which is fine at the minute. Then, we're 
stuck. Because we don't have any way at all of now getting this cube. Which is why I kind of feel like this cube is now out of the equation for the rest of the puzzle. But the issue here now is that we're completely and utterly stuck down here. See you later, Fumbly. Have a good one. like a little reset while we our favourite game in the whole wide world let's pretend we're not so we do that that would be there and there would have walked through the life form sensor and we would be here again. Hey, Doc. Hey, Deathwish. You want to take a quick break? Get your mind off this for about 10 minutes. I'm, I don't think I'm going to go for much longer anyway tonight on this because... We've made we we've, we've made steps. Yeah. But we're on to we're on to the next problem now. Um yeah, I think it is, Mike, to be honest. That's definitely magneted or something. This cube is like... You can tell the way it dra draws itself to that cube. So I, de I, I do believe the maneuver I said about over there before is intended. Yeah, where... Like when it flanks out, it just stops. Yeah, it's like it snaps to the button. It's, um... it, even even when it's off, uh, normally if you did that, flinging out of a surface, it would, it would roll away. Yeah. I've heard of uh, pulp magnets, now I've got a cube magnet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, uh, I want you to end on a fun note and play prototypes map that you made two years ago. Uh, it's one of my DW maps. Uh, his, uh, of course, his, his map, but, uh, and it's you can see everything from one area you don't have to wander around it's uh, a nice uh, simple map that but, but clever but yeah if if you want if you want I'm just coming at eight minutes of thinking time until we get to midnight and then uh <clears throat> I'm just going to just think about it just for a few more minutes. See if I can. Ah, oh, man, do it. Do and you, then... man. Do you. Whatever you feel like. That's what it's about. Your stream. And 
your thought process, if you feel like you're getting somewhere, which you have been, you always do, so. Hey, when you when you wear earbuds, does one of your ears get sore? No, but I do find that they um, I do find that they don't tend to fit very well. Well, they don't fit very well. They're always like slipping out my ears, which is annoying. Well, I, you know how you know how you get like uh, well, regardless of the kind of earbuds you get, like. You know, three different sizes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And like my right ear, fine. My left ear, no matter what size I do, it, my left ear gets, it, it just starts hurting. Uh, no matter what I use, it just starts hurting. Okay. Yeah. I, I, and I, I can't wear, uh, wear, can't wear earbuds, but so long before my left ear starts fan F you. Uh, yeah, but like, so I, pr I prefer, uh, and on the ear, uh, headsets, it hurts my left ear. Even when it's just not in my ear, but on my ear. But uh, obviously, over the ear, which I have my my Logitech set, I have now over the ear. Yeah, no problem, of course. Completely. But it's always my left ear that hurts. But anyway, yeah, um, I guess that's just me. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't get. I think they don't hurt me uh, or anything like that. I just find like a lot of the time they seem to like slip out of my ears, which drives me crazy. Yeah, I mean, maybe I shove them in. So they hold, and then they don't move or anything. I never had a problem with slipping out, but my right ear didn't have that problem. Like I can, it, it stays there. Uh, turn it back and forth to push it in, and then uh, left ear use the smallest. Uh, piece of uh, silicon or whatever the hell and feels fine at first locked in doesn't fall out but then five minutes ten minutes later it's it's getting sore yeah you see these are just um these are just the normal um <coughs> these are the normal apple ones I got with my yeah. last bone and there's no silicon on them they are just all plastic which I think is the reason they slip out my ears because I think they just get like greasy yeah. um, I have had like, the ones with like silicon that you can change the bits and pieces on they've been fine before so okay yeah uh, I guess it's just my 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 left ear thing is yeah so, just to quickly answer your question, Narcos. Benefits I get from killing the turret is I can walk over here. Now, I don't know if this is a thing. Okay. What if I did this? Well, LB wouldn't be happy with that. 
<laughs> well, I'm not sure that I can actually do anything from this position with that. Um, so don't think I can actually get back down from here without respawning the cube. But my thought process here would have been if I did that I mean it instantly gets rid of the cube. Uh, sorry, the turret. So I don't know, is is that something I need to um take into consideration perhaps? Because if that was the case and we could leave a cube there and instantly kill the turret, it doesn't matter how many times I walk through the life form sensor and then I can bring both of the cubes into play. The only problem with that of course is how I set up portals because I need I would need to get through this orange fizz, this orange field and I can't do that at the moment unless there is a way uh, uh, it's just layers of back So that, I don't know, that could maybe be a thing. I don't know how I could use it. Um, it would definitely give me the ability to freely get the blue cube without having to worry about, um, obviously, the turret coming back. So, yeah, I, I think that'll be one for the... Um, that's going to be one for the process pile the overnight thought process pile Actually, I don't want to save there I want to save it before I fizzle the cubes just in case so yeah I will um, I'm gonna give that some thoughts tonight and uh, tomorrow and then when we come back to the stream tomorrow night and pick this map up again we can um, potentially make some progress I don't know I just there's a couple of options there I just getting that blue cube back though is for me the biggest sticking point now how do we get that back but also at the same time how do we how do I fizzle no how do I Respawn the cubes. Or get portals in the right places as well. Um, yeah. There's, there, there's some questions right there. Oh yeah. Alright, so I will leave that there for tonight. And um, like I said, we all... Um, We'll pick this one up again tomorrow. We will. Um, but because it's his birthday, we will honor his request of playing before we uh, finish up the stream. Yay! DW4 around. Uh, well, you're going you're gonna to enjoy this because it's about prototype. It was for well, me. Yeah. I'm, I'm and, telling you, if, if and, it takes and, if it takes won't... longer than 15 minutes, I'm suing you, man. You said 15 minutes. If it takes longer than 15 uh, minutes, uh, I am suing. It depends on 
how aggressive you are. Uh, you, you can literally, the first time I solved it, I'll be honest, I was breaking it and doing things weird and then when I couldn't find anything to break anymore and he changed some things, uh, it took me like seven minutes. Yeah, but is that because you'd already got experience of the map, though? That's the, uh... Uh, well, yeah, kind of. Regardless of if but, you like break now or not, but, I suppose but I you... I, I did not know the solution. Uh, uh yeah, turn off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say most people would probably take, uh, 30 minutes to an hour like like the average player but i don't think you'll take that one i think 15 minutes is about right okay let's see shall we X marks the spot. Yep. Okay. The last change you made made it even more clear to me. So... So one thing I have already deduced is that um, we can't use we can't use um, uh, punch. we can't yeah. use um, Oh, sorry. I don't know how to like say this best. We can we can only use sorry um, these buttons by ourselves. We we can't put cubes up up against them. It's one thing right. I've already identified. Yeah, yeah correct. Now, I think my first. First port of call would probably be what? Um, if I could get that over to there, then. So I've got a laser coming out of there and that. So how do we do that? If I do that, I could then... Yes, yeah, so if I can activate that, I can go through here with this cube. I can then stun that button and fling the cube across to there. I can block the laser with this cube. And then I can reposition this to say here come back through here, portal there and there, open to send the laser through here. That would then open that. I could then portal there instead of there to kind of like bootstrap that and open that and walk that through. If you say um, so. That all hinges on getting... Yes, I don't like that tone you're taking with me, boy. It's, uh, it's 
the, 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 the indentions in the floor are obviously for a reason, and that's all I'm going to say. Uh, and <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually extremely simple. Oh, I'm sure it is. Any any map's extremely simple. Oh, well, uh, no. Uh, not when true. you know the solution. No, not true. Some maps are, even when you know the solution, are freaking complicated as shit. Uh, but this one is quite simple. It's just... The layout that are the, the indentions. Like if like if you were flat across, you, you could uh, do do things you couldn't otherwise do. What the okay, what's gonna what it's gonna come down to is end maneuver. I'm trying to think about that because to bring that down we need to do that. Oh, hold on. Um Yeah. That's all well and good, and like, oh man, that's, um... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you, uh, you want a little help over there, Deathwish? Are you alright? Running out, knock. 
time it's running out. You can do it. There is no time there at all. Which means I won't be going through the ceiling portal if it's needed for the, the solution. Nope. Um. I don't know, Coco, but if you if you do find the answer out to that, please do let me know. Who said anything right. about cube stacking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, cube stacking is always the always thing. Oh, You almost got it. You almost got it. You're almost there. You just need to concentrate, Cassopper. I could be lying. <laughs> there's a reason there's little uh, tunnels, kind of, if you like all tunnels. Little divots, little... It kind of it, it kind of gives you the answer in a way. To be honest. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Um. Uh, once you get this, it's gonna be like, okay. Uh, I'm an idiot. It's that. It's that. It's that. So we do. Um. Okay, you want to think it's that? Sure. No, it's not that because I can't respawn the standard cube. I thought I can. Well, like I, I tell you about, I can respawn the standard cube, but I can't. Uh, I, I'll say this. As the map said, the map said it itself. X marks the spot. 
Yeah, and I know X marks a spot because if I can get this freaking cube over here and point over here, then we're pretty much golden because that's going to be like that. The laser is going to be passing through here like that. And you're wrong. You're wrong. X marks the spot, but you're wrong. Uh, so I had, uh, thought to get this a little bit quicker, but honestly, I can't blame you for, uh, being in this predicament. I did the same thing before the changes and stuff. When the, when the changes happen, uh, I just got it. Can't blame a man for trying. So there, Mike. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, I, I thought this was trickier than what prototype said it was. I mean, it, it, it took me... Honestly... Yeah, no, it, 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 took, it took me a good 30 some minutes to get it. I'll give up with that now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's trickier than... Yeah, it, it just depends on how you look at it. It is trickier than... The map is not broken. Adam. The map is... Perfect. I broke it every way I could, and uh, now we have uh, well, a right but wrong way of doing things. Yeah. 
That's why there's a timer on the ceiling. Half a second timer. I was best to do it. Have six. Two steps away, basically. One step is wrong. was that 20 minutes 25 minutes ish well i'd say that was very very reasonable yeah it was it wasn't too bad it was just a case of like you see that that's a prime example of like what i what i class like a, a good puzzle where you're restricted for what you can do by the portal surfaces that you've got but unlike a lot of them it kind of is a bit of a process of elimination i could kind of like see the different moves a lot clearer than i can in some maps so um yeah i would say it's like a it's a it's a medium rather than sort of like bordering on like a hard medium um but no that was good it's a good map yeah awesome stuff and uh yeah gives me a bit of a break from uh obviously the narcodes map until we uh, come back to it tomorrow so uh guys thank you very much for watching appreciate your support Deathwish, thank you very much for joining me on your birthday hope you've had a great day buddy no and, uh, um, i appreciate it guy uh thanks mark and thanks everybody else uh much appreciated. Uh, so, uh, thanks for playing that one. Uh, I'm sure um, Prototype appreciates it. He put some work into to that to make it what it is. And anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks, guys. Like I say, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll be picking up the. Uh, we're picking up layers of cognition again tomorrow. Hopefully we can make um, some more solid inroads. Um, we need to try and work out the whole cube conundrum, which, you know, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get to tomorrow. And uh, I don't know how much further we are from the exit. I don't imagine we're massively far away from it, but I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong on that estimate. But, guys, until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for sticking by it. And until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys. Have a good night.